uh, this is Jerome from Nonstop Tech, and today we're going to cover kind of a most a pretty commonly asked question of what do you format like your external hard drive, your thumb drive to, when you have to transfer files from the Windows side to the Mac side and vice versa. Uh, best way to do this on the Mac is use an uh, application called Disk Utility. Uh, every Mac is going to come with this. Um, as long as you have Line, you're definitely going to be set under Snow Leopard also. Um, so 10.6 or 10.7. What you do is you go to the top right, click on Spotlight Search, type in Disk Utility until you see it as like the top hit or you can go to the applications. Start up that application um, and once you do that it'll show like all the hard drives that are actually attached to the computer. So now you have your choice of this is going to be your internal hard drive and anything else you plug into it via USB or Firewire or in the future Thunderbolt you can actually format those inside here so I plugged in my little 2 gig thumb drive that I'm going to uh, convert to XFAT. What you do is you click on it and then you have a couple of options so first aid, erase, partition. Uh, go over to erase the erase tab and once you're inside there it'll give you it'll explain to you what it's going to do and then on the bottom here you can choose format so FAT is kind of an older version, FAT32. It works on Windows and the Mac, but there's f limitations, especially if you have large files or you have large like terabyte hard drives you have to format. So I wouldn't recommend using that one. What you would do is you'd click on here, so it brings down the pull-down menu, and you would select XFAT. So once you select XFAT, you can call the thumb drive whatever you'd like. I'm going to call mine, let's do something silly, like Happy Time. And then you would go to Erase, and it'll say, are you sure? Because it's going to delete everything off of that actual external device once you format it. So once you agree to that, tap erase or click erase. It'll partition it, change it over, and you now have officially partitioned, I should say formatted, your thumb drive to XFAT. And now you can take your files back and forth between Windows and the Mac with a lot less issues than with FAT32. Thanks for listening, and that was just a quick tip from Nonstop Tech.